Good day, sir. Good day, cadets. Uh, we are the group four, and we are going to discuss North America. So, for the repertoire, you're surely the cadet Masbang Rose Marnigay, the cadet Gloria John Paul M, the cadet Mike Mates John Mark, the cadet Mama Curry Anthony, the cadet Mabugat Joan Marie, the cadet Ubana Noel Jr. Ed, S. The Cadet Matutinao Math 7, The Cadet Mantua Jaff. So, for the learning objectives, first is to learn the geographical location and identify the different countries in North America. Second, to determine the number of population and people's literacy of North America. Third, to be, to be knowledgeable enough the different language used in North America. Fourth, to identify the natural resources the North America has to offer, and lastly, to know and explore the different tourist attraction of North America. So, for the geographical location of North America, uh, North America is a continent located entirely within the Northern Hemisphere and almost entirely within the Western Hemisphere. It is bordered by the Arctic Ocean to the north, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, the Pacific Ocean to the west, and South America to the southeast. So the continent of North America extends from the northernmost point of Greenland, which lies within the Arctic Circle, to the southernmost point of mainland Panama, which connects North America to South America via Isthmus of Panama. The continent includes several countries such as the United States, Canada, Mexico, and various countries in Central America and Caribbean. Overall, North America spans a vast area covering approximately 24.71 million square kilometers or 9.54 million square miles. So, talking about the countries of North America has, so in there, we uh, ranked, by the way, the countries that the Northern America has, uh, there, there are 23 countries and we ranked it from the projected population from the most population from the most populated country to lower so for the rank one we have the united states uh projected population this was on 27th of may 2023 with a population number of 339 million 831,508 percent of total there are 56.73 and second rank, we have Mexico, uh, population 128,363,453. Third, we have Canada, 38,749,622. Fourth, we have Guatemala, uh, 18,067,935. Fifth, Haiti, 11,711,205. Sixth, Dominican Republic, 11,322, 11,322,881. 7. Cuba, 11,196,160. 8. Honduras, there were 10,578,161 population. 9. Nicaragua, there were 7,036,803. 10th in rank, El Salvador, there were 6,362,182. Next slide, please. 11th in rank, uh, Costa Rica, there were 5,209,140. 12th, Panama, 4,462,310. 13th in rank, Jamaica, there were 2,825,721. 14th, Trinidad and Tobago. There were 1,534,561. 15 in rank, Bahamas, 412,369. Next, we have Belize, 410,286. 17 in rank, the Barbados, 281,961. 18 in rank, St. Lucia, 180,213. 19th, Gren Grenada, there were 126,112. 28th in rank, we have St. Vincent and the uh, Grenadines, 103,723. 21st in rank, 21st in rank, Antigua and Barbuda, 94,246. 
second in rank, Dominica, 73,011. And last rank is the St. Kitts and Nevis. There were only 47,746 population in there. So for the next slide to be discussed by Decadet Gloria. Okay, so thank you, Cadet Maspangs. So in the population of North America, so uh, the current population of North America is uh, 589,784,703. As of Saturday, May 27, 2023, based on the latest United Nations estimates, the Northern America population is equivalent to 4.73% of the total world population. Okay, so the largest country. So the largest country in the North America is Canada, within an area of approximately 9.98 million square kilometers or 3.85 million square miles. It is the second large it is the second largest country in the world overall after the Russia. Canada spans a vast terri territory from the Atlantic Ocean in the east to the Pacific Ocean in the west and stretches northward to the Arctic Ocean. So the smallest country in the North North America is the is the Saint Kitts and Davis. It is two island nation located in the Caribbean Sea. The total land area of Saint Kitts and Davis is approximately 261 square kilometers or 101 square miles. So the most populated city in the North uh, America is the Mexico City with almost 9 million people. Mexico City is the largest city in North America, closely followed by the New York City with an 8.6 million. Mexico City is the capital and the largest city of Mexico with a population of over 21 million people in the city proper. It is a vibrant metropolis known for its rich history, culture, and economic significance. Okay, so the highest peak is the Mount Denali. Okay, so the highest peak in North America is Denali. Also known as Mount McKinley, Denali is located in Denali National Park and preserved in the U.S. state of Alaska. It is reaches an elevation of uh, 6,190 6, meters or uh, 20,310 feet above sea level, making it the highest point in the North America. Denali is part of Alaska Range and it is a popular destination for mountaineers from around the world. It is present significant challenges due to its extreme cold, unpredictable weather and technical climbing roads. The mountain's summit is often covered in snow and ice, contributing to its majestic and for formidable reputation. Okay, so the largest lake is the the North America is the surface area is Lake Superior. So the largest lake in North America is the Lake Superior. It is one of the great lakes and is shared by the United States and Canada. Lake Superior has a surface area of approximately 82,100 82, square kilometers. 31,700 square miles. So the smallest lake in North America is often considered to be Lake St. Clair. It is located between Lake Huron and Lake Erie, and it is part of the Great Lakes system. Lake St. Clair has a surface area of approximately 1,104 square kilometers or 43 square miles. So the uh, next, next reporter, reporter will be Decadet Marcos. So thank you, Decadet Gloria. So river system of North America. So North America is home to several major river systems that play a significant role in the continent's geography, ecosystem, and human activities. Here are some of the prominent river systems in North America. First, number one, we have the Mississippi River System. The Mississippi River, along with the tributaries such as 
Missouri, Ohio, Arkansas, and Red Rivers form one of the largest river system in North America. It flows through all the borders of 31 U.S. states and two Canadian provinces, and it empties into the Gulf of Mexico. Number two, Mackenzie, Mackenzie River System. The Mackenzie River is the longest river in Canada. Flowing through the Northwest Territories, it stretches approximately 1,738 kilometers or 1,080 miles and drain into the Biofort Sea. The Mackenzie River System includes numerous tributaries and cover a vast northern region of Canada. The third one, we have the Yukon River. The Yukon River is another major river in North America, flowing through the Canadian territory of Yukon and the U.S. state of Alaska. It extends for about 3,190 kilometers or 1,980 miles and eventually empties into the Bering Sea. Next, Next, number four, four we, we have, have the Colorado, Colorado River, River System. Colorado, Colorado River, River flows through the southwestern South United States State and northwestern Mexico. Mexico. It is it a is vital, vital water, water source of the several states, states including Colorado, Colorado Utah, Arizona, Arizona Nevada, Nevada, and California. California. The river, the river is, is also known, known for its iconic, iconic features, features such as the Grand Canyon and the Hoover Dam. Dam. Number five, we have the Columbia River System. The Columbia River is located in the Pacific, Pacific Northwest region of the United States and Canada. It runs through the several U.S. states, including Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, before forming part of the border between the U.S. and Canada. The Columbia River is also known for its hydroelectric power generation and diverse ecosystem. And lastly, we have St. Lawrence River. The St. Lawrence River serves as the vital waterway connecting the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean. It forms part of the international border between Canada and the United States and flows through the provinces of Quebec and Ontario. So, there are, few, there are just... These are just few examples of the major river system in North America. This continent has numerous other rivers, each contributing to the diverse landscapes and ecosystem found against across the regions. The next reporter would be Dick Cadet Babugat. So the, so the driest, driest place. place. So, so the driest, driest place in North America is generally considered to be a Death Valley located in Eastern, Eastern California in the United, United States. States. Death, Death Valley is part of the Mojave Desert, Desert and holds the record, record for the highest temperature ever recorded, ever recorded on Earth. It receives, it receives an average an annual rainfall, rainfall of less than 2 inches or 50 millimeters and is known for its extreme heat and arid conditions. So the, so the region's region unique topography, topography, topography including its below sea level, level elevation, elevation and surrounding mountain ranges, contributes to that valley's extreme dryness. The lack of significant moisture and high temperatures result in a desert environment with sparse vegetation and vast stretches of barren land. So North America has a continental climate. This means the climate is generally dry with cold winters and hot summers. But with the wide variation that is to be expected over a continent extending from the Arctic Circle to the tropics. The climate in North America is diverse due to the continent's large size, varied topography, and its location in multiple climate zones. Here is a general overview of the climates found in different regions of North America. So first is the Arctic and subarctic climate. The northernmost, the northernmost parts of the North, North America, America, including northern Canada, Canada and Greenland, experience, experience, experience in an Arctic and subarctic climate. 
These regions have long, extremely cold winters and cool, short summers. Average temperatures remain below freezing for much of the year, and precipitation is generally low. Next is the continental climate. Much of Central North America, including the Great Plains and Midwest, experiencing a continental climate. This climate is characterized by hot summers and cold winters. Precipitation varies across the regions, with higher amounts in the east. Thunderstorms are common during the summer months. So next is the Mediterranean climate. So along the coast of California and parts of Baja, California, in Mexico, a Mediterranean climate prevails. This climate is characterized by mild, wet winters and warm, dry summers. The region experiences most of its rainfalls during the winter months, while summers are dry and sunny. Next would be desert climate, which large portions of the southwestern United States, including parts of Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, and Southern California, are considered by desert climate. This climate is characterized by hot temperatures during the day and cooler temperatures at night. Precipitation is generally low, and the region is known for its arid conditions. Next would be tropical climate. The southernmost parts of the Florida, including the Florida Keys, have a tropical climate. These regions have warm temperatures year-round with high humidity and distinct wet and dry seasons. Summers are hot and rainy, while winters are milder and dry. Next would be temperate climate. Much of the eastern United States and southeastern Canada have a temperate climate. This climate is characterized by four distinct seasons with warm to hot summers and cold winters. Precipitation is spread relatively even throughout the year. And it's important to note that these are general descriptions and climate temp patterns can vary within specific regions due to local geography, elevation, and other factors. Next slide will be reported by Mantua Jeff. People in literacy rate and preoccupation. North America encompasses several countries, each with its own unique population characteristics. There is some general information about literacy rates and occupation in North America. North America as a whole has a high literacy rate. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization estimates the literacy rate for the region to be above 99%. This indicates a high level of literacy and access to education across the continent. Nationwide, on average, 79% of U.S. adults are literate in 2022. 21% of adults in the U.S. are illiterate in 2022. 54% of adults have a literacy below 6th grade level, 21% of American and 18 and older are illiterate in 2022. North America encompasses several countries, each with its own unique population characteristics. Here is some general, general information about liter, liter, literacy rates and occupations in North America. North America as a whole has a quality, high literacy rate. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organizations estimate the literacy rate for the region to be above 99%. This indicates a high level of literacy and access to education across the continent. The, occup the occupational landscape in North America is diverse and varies among countries. Some of the common occupations found across the region include service industries. This sector, this sector includes jobs in retail, hospitality, food service, tourism, and entertainment. Many people in North America work in service-oriented industries, serving the needs of residents and visitors. Professional and technical services. North America has a Significant number of professionals working in fields such as information technology, finance, law, engineering, healthcare, and education. These occupations often require specialized skills and higher levels of education.
for agriculture and natural resources in certain regions, especially rural and areas and parts of Canada and the United States, agriculture and natural resource-based occupations are significant. This includes farming, forestry, mining, fishing, and related activities. It's important to note that there are general trends and specific occupational patterns may vary between countries and religions with North America. Additionally, professional data and literacy rate can change over time due to various factors including economic shifts, technological advancement, and educational policies. For more detailed and up-to-date information referring to official government source and statistical data for individual countries and recommend. So, on behalf of Matutinaw, I'll be the one to discuss his part. So, major language spoken by most people. The major language spoken by the majority of people in North America is English. English is the primary language with approximately 334 million speakers in countries such as the United States, Canada, and Belize. It is also widely spoken in other countries in the region, including the Caribbean nations. Spanish is another significant language spoken by a large population in North America. Mexico, which is part of North America, has the largest Spanish-speaking population in the world. Spanish is also spoken by a significant portion of the population in the United States, particularly in states bordering Mexico and in major urban areas with a significant Hispanic population. In addition, to English and Spanish, there are many indigenous languages spoken by indigenous communities across North America, such as Navajo, Cree, Ojibwe, Inuktitut, and many more. These languages may have historical and cultural significance for indigenous peoples of the region. It is important to note that language usage and demographics can vary within different regions and communities across North America. North America is a diverse continent with a variety of religious beliefs and practices. The dominant religion in North America varies among countries and regions. Here are some of the major religions found in North America. First, Christianity. Christianity is the most prevalent religion in North America. It includes various denominations such as Catholicism, Protestantism, and Orthodox Christianity. The United States Canada and Mexico have significant Christian populations, although there is religious diversity with each country. Second, the Roman Catholicism. Roman Catholicism is the largest Christian de denomination in North America, particularly in countries with a strong historical influence from Catholicism, such as Mexico and parts of Central America. Third, the Protestantism. The Protestantism, I mean. Uh, it encompasses a wide range of denominations including Baptist, Metho Methodist, Lutheran, Presby Presbyterian, and others. It has a significant following in the United States and Canada, with diverse Protestant traditions and churches represented. Fourth, Judaism. Uh, it has a significant presence in North America, particularly in the United States and Canada. There are Jewish com communities and institutions throughout the continent. And lastly, other religions, North America is also home to a range of other religious traditions, including Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, and various indigenous or traditional religion religions practiced by Native American and First Nation communities. It is important to note that religious affiliation and beliefs can vary among individuals and there is religious diversity within each country in North America. Additionally, the religious landscape can change over time due to factors such as immigration, globalization, and cultural shifts. So for the next slide to be discussed by Decadet Obana Noel Jr. So, special feature on their culture. So one special feature on North America culture is a diversity and Multiculturalism, North America is known for rich tapestry of cultures, ethnic cities, and traditions that have 
ashamed by by centuries and um, immigration and indigenous heritage. Here are some aspects that highlight the culture diversity in North America. First is cultural melting pot. North America is uh, often referred to as a uh, melting pot due to mix to the mixing and blending of various cultures. People from different different backgrounds have come together, bringing their customs, language, and tradition, resulting um, in a vibrant and diverse cultural landscape. Second is indigenous heritage. North America is a home of numerous indigenous communities with basic language, art forms, storytelling tradition, spiritual practice, and cultural expression. The indigenous heritage has contributed significantly to the culture fabric of a continent. Third is cuisine. North America cuisine reflects the fusion of various culinary tradition from Native American cuisine to Europe, African, Asia, and Latin America influence. The food sense in North America is a reflection of a diverse population, regional specialties such as certain soul food, Tex-Mex, Cajun, and Canadian Putin. <laughs> and, and England claim further showcase the culinary diversity on the continent. Fourth is mu music and arts. North America has, uh, has been a hub of music and artistic expression. Various genres such as uh, jazz, blues, country, rock and roll, hip hop, and reggae have uh, emerged a tribe in North America. Artistic mediums like painting, culture, theater, and literature, and film also flourish with this diverse style and influence. Fifth is festival and celebration. North, North America celebration a wide array of cultural and religious festival, highlighting the diversity of of tradition. Example include uh, Thanksgiving in the uh, United States and Canada. Madre Gras in North New Orleans, Cinco de Mayo in Mexico and United States, Diwali celebration by South Asia communities and in, in many more. So six is sport. Sports play a significant role in North America culture, with various sports holding a great popularity. Major sports leagues like American football, baseball, basketball, and ice hockey and, and soccer have a passionate following contributing to a shared cultural experience. And the, and the culture, culture richness, and, and diversity of of a North America make make it a fascinating and dynamic continent where different tradition and custom interwive, creating a unique blend of a cultural expression. So the next reporter is Decadet Mamak Ray. So on behalf of Ray Mama, um, I'll be the one to continue discussing about natural resources. So for North America is abundant in natural resources, which have played a significant role in shaping its economies and development. Here are some major natural resources found in North America. First is fossil fuels. North America is rich in fossil fuels resources, including petroleum, natural gas, and coal. The United States and Canada in particular have extensive reserves of these resources, which have fueled their energy industries and contributed to economic growth. Minerals and metals, that's the second one, which North America possesses vast reserves of various minerals and metals. Important mineral resources include gold, silver, copper, iron, ore, zinc, nickel, 
lead, uranium, and rare earth elements. These resources support industries such as mining, manufacturing, construction, and technology. Third would be forest and timber, which North America is home to extensive forests that provide timber and wood products. Canada and the United States have substantial forested areas contributing to their forestry industries, which produce lumber, paper, and other wood products. Number four is water resources, which North America has abundant fresh water resources in the form of lakes, rivers, and aquifers. The Great Lakes, such as Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, and Lake Huron, contain vast amounts of fresh water. These water resources are crucial for agriculture, drinking water supply, hydroelectric power generation, and various industrial activities. Number five would be agricultural land, which North America possesses vast areas of fertile agricultural land, supporting diverse agricultural activities. The continent is known for its production of grains, such as wheat, corn, and soybeans. Fruits, vegetables, livestock, including cattle and poultry, and dairy products. Six is the fisheries, which North America is surrounded by Atlantic, Pacific, and Arctic oceans, providing abundant marine resources. Commercial fishing industries harvest fish and seafood, including salmon, cod, shrimp, lobster, and others, which contribute to regional economies and food supply. Number seven would be renewable energy which North America also has significant potential for renewable energy resources. This includes wind power, solar energy, hydroelectric power, geothermal energy, and biomass. Increasingly, countries in North America are investing in renewable energy technologies to diversify their energy sources and reduce environmental impacts. So, proceeding to the tourist attraction in North America, which was made by humans. So, first, um, Statue of Liberty in New York, United States. Uh, this statue is a symbol of freedom and a gift from France to the United States. This colossal statue stands on Liberty Island in New York Harbor. Second, we have the Chichen Itza in Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. So this is an ancient Mayan ar archaeological site featuring the impressive El Castillo pyramid and other well-preserved structures. Third, we have the Machu Picchu in Cusco region, Peru. A magnificent ancient Inca city perched high in the Andes Mountains known for its well-preserved ruins and breathtaking mountain views. Fourth, we have... We have CN Tower or in, found in Toronto, Canada. Uh, this is a towering observation and communication tower that offers panoramic views of Toronto's skyline and Lake Ontario. Fifth, for the tourist attraction that has that is made by human, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, United States. Uh, this uh, bridge is an iconic suspension bridge that spans the Golden the Golden Gate Strait, connecting San Francisco to marine countries. Known for its architectural beauty and stunning views. For the next slide, uh, tourist attraction, which is a natural wonders to be discussed by Decadet Gloria. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so uh, the natural, natural wonders. wonders. So, so the Grand Canyon, Canyon Arizona, Arizona, United, United States. States. Okay, so, so uh, a massive and always firing canyon curved by the Colorado, Colorado River, River, known for its uh, breathtaking views and, and vibrant rock formation. Right. Second, Second is the uh, uh, Niagara Falls. Ontario, Canada, and New York, United States, one of the world's most famous waterfalls located on the border between Canada and the United States, offering the stunning display of cascading water. Third is the Yellowstone National Park. Okay, so the first national park in the United States, known for its uh, geothermal features, 
including famous old faithful geyser, wildfire, and dramatic landscapes. Fourth is the National Park, Alberta, Canada. A scenic and uh, picturesque national park in the Canadian Rockies, re renowned for its uh, turkeys, lakes, snow cape, mountains, and abundant wildlife. Fifth is the Yosemite National pa National Park, California, United States, an iconic national national par park famous for its towering granite cliffs, stunning waterfalls, ancient sequoia trees, and diverse ecosystems. Okay, so that's all. So that's all for our report. Thank you for watching this video.